Hey guys, I'm Skip and you're watching High Volts RC. Today we're going to be unboxing a Tamiya M06 chassis kit. So this is a kit car, it's got the Volkswagen Beetle body on it. It's a really nice little kit, so um, hey, stick around, it's going to be a good one. Today we're going to be unboxing this to me, a new Tamiya kit. This is a kit that you have to put together. Tommy's in here helping me out today as well. Uh, this is a kit that you have to put together. It comes uh, with everything you need other than batteries. It comes with everything you need other than batteries, radio gear, and a steering servo. So it has the motor, the transmission set up, the whole chassis, the, the wheels and the tires, the body. And this one's really nice because it actually ha comes with the chrome bumpers, uh, chrome mirrors and stuff like that. I think it's going to make this a really nice kit to put together. Let's go ahead and get it opened up here and see what, see what you got. First up is that body shell. That that Vol this Volkswagen body shell looks absolutely great. Can't wait to put this thing together and add it to my Tamiya collection. This will be the third one I have now. I have the uh, TT01, which was actually Tommy's first RC car, and uh, we love that thing. It's been doing good. And I have the the CC01 four wheel drive uh, FJ Cruiser, which has also been a pretty good. Uh, which has also been a pretty good RC for us. Alright, next out of the box we have this giant pile of black plastic parts. There's the piece of the chassis. This is all the parts that you have to put together to assemble this kit. Now these kits are really fun, really awesome to put together. The only thing that these, to me, is, I, I found have kind of been lacking is stuff like the ball bearings for for the drive shafts and differentials and stuff like that for the uh, wheel hubs they, they all just run the uh, they usually will run the plastic um, bushings in there rather than the steel ball bearings so that's a really nice upgrade to go ahead and do I haven't done it on any either one of mine I have three of these Tamiya's now but this will be the third one and um, and I just been running them as they are and you can definitely tell that they're a little bit more sloppy than the other ones that are running the ball bearings, although they are, they're still doing their job. They, they're a lot of fun to drive, so I haven't upgraded mine yet. I just put them together and have been bashing on them ever since. So, All right, and these black parts are usually a lot neater than this in the kit, but I've actually had this kit for a little bit and been playing around with it a little. So I've got some of these parts are all broken apart. So that, anyway, that's the huge pile of parts <laughs> that you need to put these things together. They come with these bags here of the hardware. This uh, this looks like this a set of the springs, the springs and the stuff to put the shocks together. Um, it does come with an ESC and a motor combination. Um, as far as I can tell, you can't tell what kind of motors these really are. They just send you these silver cans and these Tamiya kits, and they seem to run really good and and do do what they're supposed to do. Now, a really great part about this kit is all the chrome accents. You got chrome headlights here. You have the chrome bumpers. Really, really nice. I mean, that looks awesome. I can't wait to get this thing put together. There's the other bumper. There's the other bumper. Very, very good looking parts. And here's the wheels. Check out this wheel and tire combination. Looks exactly like what the stock Volkswagen bug would have had back then. And and it's absolutely awesome. Now it also comes with two different stickinesses of tires, or whatever, however you want to say it. The I believe the back set is a very, very soft, very sticky tire that you run on the back for traction. In the front, it's a more hard, um, a more hard compound that's not as sticky. They look exactly the same, but you can definitely tell there's a there's a big difference in the two. Here's some more body parts got the uh, white body parts there that'll do some uh, there's like for the hood or the rear trunk latches in there and some other parts I'm sure will accent it um, there's another ESC that doesn't that didn't come with the kit that was just in there for some reason yeah here's your transmission housing and we got another hardware kit bunch of metal stuff there's our wheel hubs in there 
Another hardware kit. Looks like we got our tool tool kit in there. Differential gears. They always give you a small tube of grease. To me, a grease to grease up your differential gears and stuff. There's another small pack of gears for the transmission, I would imagine. And there's a little bag of body clips and some double-sided tape to get it all put together. And of course, in here we we'll have our manuals and and a, t a decal decal kit here. Not many decals of this car, of course. There's your window masks too, so they give you your window mask for painting your body. And really good looking little decal uh, uh, set there to trim out the body once it's done and painted. So very cool. I'm definitely impressed with this kit and I can't wait to get it together and get some bashing done for you guys. I'm going to do some on-road stuff with this car and leave it stock and then try to modify it a little bit and uh, see if we can make like a Baja bug with it or something. Uh, I forgot to mention, if, you don't, if you're not aware, this is a just a rear wheel drive chassis. So it's just like the original bug would have been, rear wheel drive only. So we're hoping we can have some fun with it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.